Hey folks, I'm HP, this is Dr. Pink, and today I'm going to talk about a funk in the style of Marcia Parker. That was a really cool dude, which is playing funk music, some really steaming, hot, funky music. Color orange, of course. And uh, we want to revive this guy with this song. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> that uh, we're gonna check out the chords how it's played and as you already heard the soloing is pretty spacey but cool and you have to be pretty precise so i'm going to show the three licks which are played here uh, they're basically technically very easy to play but a little bit hard to place them the really correct in the rhythm section well the more precise you are there the more cool it's going to sound so let's first get started with the chords and and then we go on further. So let's first check out the chords. Uh, basically, all the, the riff it's, it's this here. Um, it's really simple. We play the bass note, the D, it's a, the, the tune is in D minor. Play the chord, this root note first, and then the chord here 12 12, 10 10. So, one, two, Another tricky thing is where to place that exact. So this is on one, one, two, and this comes somewhere between two and three. And it comes on the last 60 note of the two. So if you want to be precise, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, there it is. You count through this, the tempo, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, da. There it comes. And the other one comes on three plus. So. If you count through the 60 notes, it will be the third. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, that's basically how you count through if you don't have the complete feeling for this rhythm thing. One, two. Or if you count through with the foot. When the foot is up is the plus, and the other one is the the, the sec. This one on twelve is shortly before the foot comes down. So one, two before it comes down to three. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, so that's the main part played four times. Then goes to G minor. And this is a bar here in the 10th fret, this one is the 12th, and the middle finger on the 11th. And it comes on count two, so one, two, three, four, and just one, two, just one, two, three, four. Setting chord on the two as a, an answer to the po on the on the hit of the drum is kind of gives more groove. One, two, three, four. One and then two, three, four. Then comes the main figure again. Um, if you want to play it correctly with alternate picking, so the on the D minus downstroke, upstroke one, two, upstroke downstroke one. This is also method how you can do it, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one. You can do like this, one, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
<laughs> if you make the 60 note, it's also easy to get the exact position of the chords. One, one, two, one. Yeah. Then comes the final thing is this here. Is a B flat seven to A seven to the uh, A flat seven to G seven, and this is a, a series of seventh chords. This is called extended dominance. Well, that's the expression for it. Sorry, guys, you don't need an old expression, but you need to know how this is played. So now we have the same thing again. One, two. When it it is basically two per per uh, bar. So one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. It will be like this. But now the tricky thing that is more groovy, the second one in the bar is again one sixty note before the three. So again on the four. So one, two, one, two. So one, two. So really make sure that you know where the four sixty note is. In a, in a beat is, then you're pretty easy to go on this one. It's really not hard as soon as you got that. Then comes the figure again. And then comes the A7 sharp 9. 12, 11, 12, 13. And this one comes again on the, on the same place as this. On the last 60 note of the count to 1, to and that's basically how the whole thing sounds and so let's play now with the track oops i got stuck on my computer so <laughs> Sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> I, brought it, I brought it too early. Yeah, and the seven chords are. We play this, the small seven chords here. The um, B flat seven is here in the 13, 12, 13, just three notes. Move down. Just move this chord down. Go back to the main finger, and the A7 sharp 11 is. I think I said that. 12, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so this is how the chords are played. Now we want to make some cool soloing. Um, here you don't really play fast stuff, you want to play cool, so you need to go with the rhythm. And therefore, the, what you learn now with the, with the chords, with the rhythm, will help you in the soloing. So, so one, uh, as the first lick will be something like this. One, two, one, two. Oops, one, two. This little lick here. It's really simple from the technical part, but the rhythm is not so easy. One, two. So let's analyze this from the rhythm part that you can really figure out where it goes. This bending here is, of course, D minor pentatonics here in the 10th fret. Now the bending here comes again on the last 16 out of count two. So one, two. This repeats the same rhythm pattern <coughs> as the rhythm guitar is doing. So you can take it over from there. So just so one, two. Now four F, four and one, two. Four and one, two, three, four. One, two. two. Yeah, as I said, it's the same rhythm finger as before on the... Exactly the same one. <clears> that sounds cool. You can play this as showed or with any other bending or any other figure which you like. Yeah. 
Now we need a second little lick and this will be this. Sounds very easy, but this one here is one sixty note after one, so one, so one, and not if you would one, two, three, four. That would be if we play the first note on exactly on the one. The rest is easy. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and three. The other one is uh, two and three, eight notes. But this one now you play this one. A sixty note later. One, two, three, four. And then it sounds pretty funky and cool. One, two, three, four. You can play it anywhere, this rhythm figure, or like this. You can play it anywhere, just you need to have the rhythm fit together. And now, um, what is about runs? Runs don't really fit too much into something like this. It has to be cool, but if you make a run, make a simple one like... I play the blue scale here. Here from starting in the 13th fret, pull off on the, uh, 15 to 13, 14, 13, 15, and make a pull off that makes it sound more smooth. All 60 notes. 14, 13, 12, 15, 15, 12, 10, 12, and go down with the index and back with the ring. See? That's how this whole thing goes. Let's play this one here. You can also play it down here, <coughs> it's the same thing, just the finger is a little bit different. Here 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, the gap pull off again, 12, 11, 10, 13, 10, 8, 10. And with these three licks, and if you just move around the rhythm fingers, the way you want, you can really make a very cool solo with just with just three licks. So let's check that one out. One, two, three. One, two. Let's add some distortion. we can do with wawa stuff like that. I just added the warb on out here. It's pretty cool to go. Um, learn those three licks. They were really enough to, to survive in such a situation. If they're precise, you sound way cooler than if you try to play runs and stuff like that. It's not cool on this track. Really not. Yeah, folks, what more to say about this? If you really love this stuff, check out Masia Parker. He has really some cool stuff. was pretty popular for some time. I don't know if he's still popular. He was not so popular, but really cool. And um, I really loved his style. And uh, it's really the way funky music or funk music should sound alike. Yeah. If you want to have the tabs and the backing tracks, they are available in the HB Crazy Guitar Academy. Please write me a review on Google Maps if you can. Search for the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Write me a review. I really would appreciate it. 
Follow me on Spotify, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, and that's all, and Google as well. There's these four things I do. Yo, that's basically all I wanted to say. Me and Dr. Pink and Dr. Pink has something more to say. <laughs> Yeah, I said subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button if you haven't done that before. Yo, me and Dr. Pink are signing off. <laughs> <laughs>